Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes. And today I have a sweet little wellness box that has been sent to me for review once again. It's called Mindful Souls. Just in case this is the first time that you are seeing it here on the channel, let me go ahead and read the description for you. A monthly subscription service delivered right at your doorstep each month to assist in creating self-love rituals while surrounding you with relaxing and uplifting energy. Every box will delight you with six to eight carefully hand-picked items ranging from calming crystals, aromatherapy items, gemstone jewelry, to home decor, wellness goodies, and natural cosmetics. A rejuvenating and refreshing gift designed to balance your mind and brighten your aura. And this box is just $39.97 per month, but I do have a code for you. It is MS, as in Mindful Souls, underscore Noel, and that will save you 20% off your entire order. So not just on the subscription box, but also in their online shop, and they have so many more goodies there. Now this box is a little bit different from others because not everyone receives the same box every month. They have more of a numbered box system. So you usually start with box number one. So I have unboxed that here on my channel and then you just keep going along. But I think they're in the 20s or 30s now on their actual box curations. I believe that this is box number five. I know that I'll have it correct in the title of this video though. So in case you're wondering what box number five looks like, this is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and dive on in. If you are new to my channel, I unbox all kinds of subscription boxes, mostly lifestyle boxes, but also books, beauty, jewelry, travel, and even some home decor. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, because that's pretty much all I do here, then I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which right now is every single day, whenever I announce giveaways and there is always a secret password giveaway going on and of course whenever I go live generally on the 8th of the month and we do all kinds of giveaways and updates during that you can also join our Facebook group the Nobot Nook there's a link for that in the description box as always if you are already subscribed you're already in the Nook you're already following me over on Instagram thank you so 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 much all right guys opening it up so they do have a new box design which is fun it says and just like that you've opened a whole new world of possibilities so i love that it's printed on the interior now as well very very fun you guys got a little sneak peek of some of the items so they do always include an affirmation card this one is an affirmation for ownership all right i can pick and choose what i want to do so so life is a maze. It's a little bit of a labyrinth, but you get to choose the direction that you're going to go. And of course, on the other side, it just says mindful soul. So slowly you can collect a whole almost deck of affirmation cards, which is kind of fun. And then of course we have their booklet. Sometimes it's a little bit of a heftier, almost mini magazine. This one is a little bit thinner. It does tell us on the back, mindfulness is a key to self-love. Here at Mindful Souls, we want to help you become a better version of yourself happier, healthier, and more fulfilled. At the core of what we do lies a very simple truth. By showing yourself the love you deserve, you're teaching the rest of the world how to love you. That is so true. Self-love is so important. So this is a little bit more simple. We do have a quote on the front too. Encourage yourself, believe in yourself, and love yourself. Never doubt who you are. And that's from Stephanie Lahart. So I love this. This time, instead of being on a little card, now we have it as a little booklet. And it looks like we have six different items. So I am going to prop that up in front of me. They do always have a little note that it says that it is important to cleanse and activate your crystals as soon as you receive them. I am not someone who ascribes powers uh, to crystals. So I'm not someone who charges my crystals in the moonlight or runs them underwater. I know some people really adhere to that but they do let you know if that is something that you do believe in that you like to do with your crystals you absolutely can i appreciate crystals for knowing what a beautiful world that we live in and also as accents in my home they often include a really fun sticker so this is a nice one i love that with like the hand of fatima probably and then we have, they always have these great little jewelry bags. Um, everything is always like individually packaged, which I think is really fun. So it's kind of like a little treasure trove. It's almost like a little grab bag. You could definitely share this box with someone else in your household. It might be kind of fun to just dip your fingers in and see what comes out. So this one had a little bit of shred on it, but I did go ahead and open, uh, pull that one out first. So this is the one I'm going to open up first. All right. So we do get a lot of really pretty natural stone jewelry in this subscription and this is no exception we have a lovely uh rose 
quartz bracelet. It's like it's just on a stretchy um, cord. And of course, it's got this really pretty silver charm. I was trying to tell, figure out what it is. It almost looks like a lotus, but I'm not sure. It says, thinking of self-care as a necessity rather than as a luxury that you don't have time for will set you up for a happier and healthier life. Self-care is all about making time to nurture yourself and loving yourself unconditionally. Bless yourself with compassion by connecting to the rose quartz energy of this bracelet. Rose quartz brings the focus to how strong and powerful you are, regardless of what is happening with your body. It begs you to love yourself at every stage. So absolutely. Um, I'm not usually like a huge fan of stretchy bracelets. It's nice because they're so easy to put on and they fit so many wrist sizes, but I do find that you have to be a little bit careful with them so they don't catch on anything, so they don't have create spillage all over. And you guys know I'm not like a huge fan of baby pink, even though I love me some rose quartz. So this might be something that I re-gift, but what a really nice piece. Again, we do get some lovely jewelry pieces in this box every single month. So let me put that off to the side. Now there is a pretty big item here. I've never actually seen a Mindful Souls branded box. This is the first time. So I'm very curious to see what is in here. Let us discover it together. Wow, this is crazy. This is, um, wow, this is really impressive. So this apparently is a clear quartz energy generator, you guys. It is like a crystal snowflake. It is a flower of power and it's got all the different colored stones like representing all the different chakras you can see. So it says having an energy generator crystal in your space will help to clear out negative energies giving you peace of mind during your daily life. These generators raise the energy from the earth to the sky and can bring universal light and knowledge into your space. Wow and it's just kind of fun to look at. It says it's a great tool for meditation, healing and general support and it can be also used to charge other crystals. Clear quartz is a master healer crystal it amplifies the energy of crystals it's placed near place energy generators in your home or workspace to protect activate and transmute energy so that's interesting I guess just because it's in this like circular like geometric pattern so I know a lot of people are into sacred geometry um, I just love that it is uh, has all of those colors I guess it's more the clear crystal in the center and then we have these nice like white crystals on the outside which feel like they might be like the compressed kind where it's like powder and then they shape it into a crystal form but never seen one of these again I'm not someone who usually charges my crystals so maybe that's why I haven't seen a clear quartz energy generator but that's kind of fun while we're at it you guys let's have a secret password and the password is going to be energy if you've never done this before when you come across a secret password in one of my videos you want to enter it along with your contact information in the google form linked for you in the description box below at the end of the month i go through i use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you for watching my videos in their entirety you have to be 18 years or older you have to be subscribed to my channel and you have to have a u.s or canadian mailing address not a associated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here. Just my way of saying thank you. Our secret password for today is energy because we got this energy generator. All right, we have a few more items. Now, one item did not come in a bag, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. And this is the sage stick, and it looks like it has some extra florals in there. It is a blue sage lavender smudge stick. Blue sage has a mild floral aroma, so if you're someone who finds strong smells overpowering, this might be your new favorite smudge stick. It's also known to attract prosperity and wealth, so it's an excellent addition to any abundance ritual. Lavender carries an energy of happiness and tranquility, making this stick perfect for when you're feeling stressed. So I do like smudge sticks. It's just like incense, but without being quite as strong usually in scent to me. Um, it's also just like a nice thing to have as decor but I do like the idea of like cleansing things with smoke it doesn't like necessarily bother me um and this one smells pretty good I guess that doesn't look like lavender to me but maybe it's the blue sage I'm not entirely sure I know a lot of people are usually really concerned about where the sage is acquired and if it's like respectful of indigenous tribes but I think that's more with the white sage so this is the blue sage smudge stick which of course you use kind of like incense you light one end and then you kind of smudge it out until it's just embers it's just really like smoking and slowly burning versus like being a giant flame but it can uh, fray fragrance your house and a lot of people think that it has cleansing properties so I like getting the sage stick I don't mind it I have like a pretty bowl that I use sometimes you can use a shell or something to like just let it slowly burn 
So we do have a few more items. They all, of course, came in their own little pouches. We do have a lot of a uh, little bit of extra dust, and I think it is from that sage stick because things kind of get jostled around sometimes. So let me go ahead and open this one up. This is a pretty big stone in here. Wow. Okay. So we do sometimes get loose stones. This one is gorgeous though. So this is a moss agate, but look at the pretty colors and striations in there and look how big it is, you guys. This is a big chunk of moss agate. It says moss agate carries a strong connection with nature, mending its healing and nurturing energy to you. It says it teaches us to appreciate and enjoy each moment we have with the earth, helping us to set an intention for healing the planet. That sounds like a good idea. Associated with the heart chakra because it is green. It says moss agate also helps facilitate facilitate the release of old habits and fears to inspire growth. And that's one thing I always loved when I learned about the chakras for the first time because we always think of green as being like, you know, envy or money. But when you think about the heart being represented by green and the freshness and the growth, uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. So what a really cool piece with those swirling almost like clouds in there and that really deep, gorgeous green. That's really pretty. I That is a really nice stone. All right, you guys, we do have a couple more, couple more things in here, all in their own little pouches, which I do love for regifting just because I do have a lot of friends that appreciate stuff like this. Uh, as a yoga instructor, I definitely have friends who are good about charging their crystals. This is a really cool piece, you guys. It is like a perfect orb. Isn't that neat? So I, the tiger eye sphere. It says, when fear enters our decision-making process, our choices get skewed. To see the path ahead clearly, improve your foresight with a tiger's eye sphere. Tiger's eye healing properties protect us from sealing the worst in ourselves. That's good. It says instead, Tiger's eye healing energy blesses the third eye with confidence, courage, strength, and harmony so that our perspective isn't tainted by self-doubt or insecurities. To activate your crystal, it says sit quietly, holding your crystal in both hands. Breathe into the highest white light and visualize your intention for your crystal. So again, I just think Tiger's eye is always like mesmerizing, especially that lighter colored part. I just think it is so, so pretty. And of course, this is kind of neat because it's like almost like a marble. So you do have to kind of concentrate. And it's almost like you can see movement in a stone like that. I just think that is really lovely. I'm sorry about all the reflections, you guys. But what a pretty, pretty stone. So two really, really pretty loose stones this time around one jewelry piece so far, our smudge stick, and then of course that item that I had never seen before, which is a clear quartz energy generator. And then we have a one more item. It's kind of interesting because my contact there at Mindful Souls was like, there's there's a really cool item in this box that you're definitely gonna like. And I'm wondering if it was the energy generator just because that is so unique, or if it is this piece right here because this is pretty darn cool, but mine is a little bit tangled, so hold on one second while I try to untangle it so you can see it in all its glory. It's another jewelry piece. It's a yellow appetite waning crescent necklace. Now the one they're showing here is in a really pretty silver and the stone is more white. I do not mind this more brassy like antique gold but isn't that cool? You guys know I love my like celestial jewelry. I just thought that was really neat. It does have kind of a chunky chain but that makes sense on a pendant this big. It says the waning crescent moon symbolizes the end of the old cycle the start of an approaching new one. Detach yourself from the world and rest. It is a time to think things over and contemplate the things you should let go. That seems to be a theme in this box this month, the things that you should let go. It says, Appetite is a dual action stone known for its positive use of personal power to achieve goals. It clears away confusion, apathy, or negativity, then stimulates the intellect to expand knowledge and truth, which may be used for personal growth or for the collective good. It is a stone of manifestation promoting a human humanity humanitarian outlook and service to others. So one of the things that I love about this box is it just helps us to think about good intentions, right? So you can use any of these items as a talisman, as a reminder, as a entry point to your prayer or meditation. And that's what like I appreciate about this box, just because it reminds us of all of those kind of good habits, intentions, affirmations, things that may or may not be like part of a crystal's energy, but definitely if you believe in any sort of higher power, 
those are things that you can ask for. Those are things that you can manifest. Those are things that you can focus on growing on. So this is really pretty. I think it's kind of neat. I love like moon jewelry. So I could see myself wearing that, although it is like on a longer chain. So it's going to be like lower on your chest. So it's going to be something that goes like over your blouse, but on a like, you know, a simple black top or something or white top. I think this could be very, very striking. You can kind of see all of that detail, that like filigree on the interior of the moon really really pretty really kind of cool um definitely kind of has like some fall vibes even though these boxes are definitely not themed by the month or the season i could see myself wearing this in in the fall for sure you guys let me know what you thought about this mindful souls box i thought it was pretty good we got two pieces of jewelry i actually really like them sometimes the jewelry is a little bit chunky for me but both of these are actually very delicate and lovely we got this is the only item that just because i don't have a practice of using my crystals for rituals or anything i'm not exactly sure what to do with but i do like i said have some friends that probably do i love both of the loose stones the tiger's eye that i tucked back into a pocket because i was afraid of it skipping across my desk but this moss agate you guys really really cool piece i have never seen like a chunk quite that big or i've never had one and then finally we rounded it out with our blue sage lavender smudge stick i'm not seeing or really smelling the lavender i mostly smell the sage which isn't a bad thing i hope you all enjoyed this video i know it's a little bit different but i do think it is nice to see some of these boxes that incorporate a little bit of spirituality a little bit of wellness into a lifestyle box that i think a lot of people can enjoy and like i said share with others if you appreciated it i would appreciate a thumbs up it does definitely help out my videos as do your comments which i also really appreciate and enjoy reading every single day and hopefully i will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.